Hi, my name is Neil and Joshua Pillay, and this is part two of the proje project uh, development uh, video for JJobs, a job site that I've been developing using best practices of PHP um, and, uh, well, a more optimized uh, development practices based on my research. This was built using Twitter Bootstrap. Knockout JS, um, jQuery, uh, JSON, and MySQL. Okay, so since last time, this is what I've done. There has been a lot of back end development, as in, I've implemented uh, security uh, to a degree in the database and uh, in the front end. Uh, I've also uh, made it so you can search for people although the search isn't it's returning just a bunch of results at the moment so you can put in the experience the college diploma uh, what you're looking for and uh, the years of experience whether it's mandatory or not basically what this means is that if it's mandatory you need up-to-date uh, experience if it's not mandatory uh, your experience could be a little bit outdated uh, on your skills so you could have uh, last used like three years ago because so anyways uh, so I could search for people now so this is for employers so we put in career level we're looking for education level skill level search and uh, here are the search results I haven't made the search results look that great yet uh, in how they're displayed however I'll improve that so there's one person with the skill match me, Neil and Joshin Pillay. I'll click on that and uh, I have the about me page which I'm still working on. On this page it's going to be a list of uh, uh, people. I mean uh, it's gonna be like my personal profile about me and it'll also have visible resumes on here. Um, another thing I've done is uh, um, uh, find awesome people the search has to be uh, rectified a bit. Here I have to put in uh, so that it knows you're logged in. Anyways, uh, here I've added my skills page. So based on the user, let's say I'm going to log in as uh, and then with another one of my accounts. I logged in. Um, I'm going to go to my skills. I'm going to add a skill. I have. Uh, QA skills, five years. Here's last last used. It was uh, most recent. Uh, uh, Devil up it. C sharp. Here's experience one. Um, test automation. Um, here's experience three. And. Uh, uh, SQL dev development and then I can go to apply and that's going to add it to the database even though it doesn't show you because I haven't put in the redirects yet star from uh, user skills I believe that's the name of the table okay query it and as you can see I have uh, the skills have been listed from that user and it's user number four. Um, so now if we go to employers, find awesome people and search, the search has in, is just listing all the users at the moment that have skills. So now I have NJ, that's the name of my other account. And then I could click on that and it'll take me to a user profile. Um, what else have I implemented? Account settings. This, in this place you'll be able to edit your uh, um, account details also uh, when you're searching for jobs let's say SQL this page works so it works these are required jobs listed that uh, involve SQL skills you click on that and you're not logged in the screen will come up and it'll say why you should register if you're not logged in however if you are logged in um, and you search for it it's not going to come up, it's going to just list the job profile and uh, that's about it for now
it's been a lot more back-end work than front-end work at the moment, but now that I've done the majority of back-end work, I think the front-end work should go pretty quickly. And I think there, are, I'm, I'm thinking of switching to PostgreSQL because I found out that MySQL isn't really free. If you're uh, using it commercially, you had to pay like $440 for every nine processors you use. Well, that's not much of a problem. I find that MySQL is a little bit more difficult to develop than Microsoft uh, SQL Server. However, I've been looking at PostgreSQL, and PostgreSQL seems to have everything I've been looking for, like uh, Profiler, it supports XML, even though MySQL also supports XML, PostgreSQL uh, supports it, has foreign keys, something MySQL doesn't have. Um, it just seems more r like a relational database than uh, MySQL. And uh, so I've been considering switching to it. And it's free commercial for commercial use. So then I won't have to worry about any additional costs except the processors I'm using. Uh, and that is all for now. That is part two. Well, hopefully the next uh, presentation will be the finished product. Uh, thanks for paying attention and till next time.